Hi and hello and thank you so much for tuning in and if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Preeti Rao and I am both a real estate and a mortgage broker for close to 20 years. So I'm pretty sure if you follow politics, you've heard that the federal government of Canada has decided to go back to discussing the 4 million new homes by 2030. It's just six years from now. My question is, are they on crack? How is that even possible? Please watch the whole video and tell me what you think. Now, who knows, I could be completely wrong. But first, before we proceed, hit the like, share, subscribe and the bell icon because it gets me motivated to keep you up to date with everything real estate. So, I don't know if you've noticed it, but we've got Christopher Freeland putting social media posts out saying 4 million new homes coming soon on the way. We are working hard for you Canadians or hardly working because there's no 4 million new homes coming. It's not happening. Look, I make it a point not to make this about personalities, not to make this about the people in the government. They are just people doing their job very poorly, mind you, but they're still doing it, making tons of wrong decisions. But they're just human beings like you and me. And I totally understand that their decisions are all based on who to please first, which lobby to support so that that lobby will support them in turn during elections. I get that. I also know that they don't deserve the level of hatred that some of us have developed towards them. But let's be clear, discussing 4 million homes in 6 to 7 years, it's not practical. Hence, making this statement completely false. So why am I so peeved about this? And why do I think that those words are ridiculous and mean nothing? Let me tell you. Did you know that by the time we are finished this year, which is 2024, we'll have about 210 to 215,000 new construction starts, not builds, just starts. And by the way, a bunch of them are purpose-built rentals. So typically, they've always been a small portion of uh, purpose-built rentals in the last 20 years. But this year, there's going to be a much bigger portion cut out for it because of CMHC's programs. That's going to create a lot more of those purpose-built rentals. It's doing its job. It's a good thing. But it also means that homes for people to buy are down enormously. We've been on the constant decline. So here's the news. The highest likelihood is in Canada, we will build less than 200,000 homes by the time 2025 is over, which is a very, very bad result in a country that has bought in close to 3 million new people to live in over the last three years. It's a complete disaster. So what we've got to do is we've got to stop talking, first of all, about these $4 million new homes. Where is it going to be built? It's just crazy. So the next question that you can ask me is, okay, genius, what's your right approach? First and foremost, the federal government needs to be honest with us. $4 million would take over 20 years and there is no hope of any foreign money coming in. And even if we peeled off immigration, okay, down to 400,000, it would still not keep up with the concept. So please, the first step is admitting that we have a problem. The next step is saying, okay, we're going to rethink. We're going to reevaluate and come up with a new plan because God knows you seriously need one. Maybe it's forcing cities and towns to reduce their development charges and taxes on these new bills. Maybe they have to really federally somehow find a way. And I know it may not be that easy because it's not federal jurisdiction, but try maybe. Find a way to create an environment where people would rethink the size of homes. And by the way, by rethinking, I don't mean just shrinking. We need to stop building those ridiculous 500 square feet dog crate condos. Let's just find a way to end that and get the right size housings going. Because let's face it, it's a 485 square feet condo. Is that even functional? It's actually functionally insulting to humans. Who can raise a family in those places? It's meant for like what, single people or one person? So the first things first, we have to find a way to pull construction costs down. And the first place to look is in the cities, municipalities who are charging way too much. And let's not forget, 
the complexity to get zoning which I do understand because apart from the infrastructure they have to provide water treatment sewers etc so I guess that's fine but then work with them and figure a way out to help the local municipalities to reduce their costs which in turn will help the local builders to build normal size houses so just sitting there and saying that we're going to build 4 million homes how stop saying that it's embarrassing insulting admit the failure and look at trying new things once again my name is Preeti Rao and my contact information is in the description box below make sure to hit like share subscribe oh and that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos thank you so much for watching and don't forget to call me because I hold the key that opens the door to your dream home